everyone welcome to this video this one's going to be on how to download and start using the magic engine emulator this one will let you emulate the uh, roms and also play if you have the original uh you know discs from the uh, turbo graphics you'll be able to use it with this now this emulator is not free it, uh, it, there is a paid version for it there is however a, a demo that will let you run it for five minutes uh, so if you want to go ahead, you know, give that a try and see if that'll work with your disk. Let's go ahead and shoot over to that website. So open up your browser. You're going to type in Magic Engine. Now you should see this as the first one on the, uh, you know, homepage here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to use, you know, whatever your language is. I'm assuming it's English. We'll go ahead and jump in there. Uh, they do have a demo version here for download. So we're going to click on download. And the latest version is 113. Now that was back all the way from 2008. It does work like a charm though. You can run your disks and also ROM backups if you have them. So you're gonna go ahead and download that for the version of the you know computer you have, either PC or Mac. So don't download that, put that in your browser. Or download it through your browser, get into the folder where that's at, and just go ahead and extract that to a folder. Preferably, you know, give it the name of the emulator itself. So once you have that done, uh, we're going to go into the emulator. We're going to go ahead and start that. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into the window that has the one I just downloaded so we can go from scratch. So this is a demo version. Uh, so you're going to get something like this when you open up the, uh, you know, the folder. So we're going to click on here. We're going to set this up here pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and pick the full screen option, set it to 1920 by 1080. Now you do have the option to set it here for your window size. So you're just going to bring down that drop down menu and pick the resolution that you want right here. Now the one that works the best for me is OpenGL. So that's what I'm going to load right now. So driver OpenGL, you can pick your languages from here keyboard default and then you can pick if you have a joystick on here so you can tell it uh, I believe you do config one it'll let you pick a keyboard so for right now let's leave with them both at default and see if we can go from there so this is like I said a fresh install for me I do have another one but I want to do it from this so I can show you guys you know from beginning to end here to get this set up so if you leave these blank it's going to be the default directory for all of these options here if you don't put anything in there it's going to leave it in the default directory which you downloaded it to. So you can go ahead and hit OK from there. We're going to go ahead and launch it. Now you're going to need a ROM if you want to test the operation with ROM. So just make a folder in there, call it ROMs. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and tell it to load a ROM. And we're going to go here to the folder where we have it. So I got that one there. So as you can see, it runs good. Now you're going to want to set different options here. So let's go ahead and uh, set those up. Let me jump out of this real quick. All right, so we're going to go ahead and launch that again. We're going to launch the uh, ROM here, and as you can see, it's running fine. So what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and set up options here so it can go full screen for you. Now you can leave it like that if you want, but if you want to change the uh, resolutions, we're going to jump in here to config. Now you got your options here, so we're going to do the gamepad first. So basically, if you press the inputs on your pad, you're going to see the uh, corresponding section here blink so this is the head switches which is the directional so you got your up down left and right so if you do that and you see that blinking that's already set up uh, your axis if you have an axis button you know the thumbstick if you press up and down and you see that blinking and left and right that's already reading that and the same thing with the right one uh, as you can see it's you know showing that it's being activated when you hit the thumb pad so that's all set Z axis is also being red. Now the default turbo graphics, I believe, came with just the two sticks. You or the two buttons. You can go ahead and add them on here if you want more. So basically, once you press your uh, button, it'll show you the corresponding button. So this one's zero button. This one here is the button one. 
then you got two and three. So what you can do is you can see here you got one and two. So if you go here, you can pick four and five, and that way you have all the buttons on here. Now, if you want to do uh, the other two, you can go ahead and hit the, uh, if you have a joystick with, uh, you know, trigger left one and trigger right one, you can set those. So it all depends on, you know, how you want to do it. You don't have to do those buttons. Uh, more than likely, the game might not even use it. So go ahead and press select on your key or on your gamepad if you see that responding. Then those are all set to go so if you see all those buttons responding you're good if you have more than one joystick you're just going to click on this little section down here and you're going to pick joystick number two and set that one up so the joystick or joystick is now set up so let's go ahead and jump over to the next option here the keyboard you're pretty much going to want to leave alone unless you don't have a joystick uh audio you can go ahead and set whatever settings you want up here usually i check this it makes the sound a little bit more smoother uh, you can go ahead and raise the linear and cubic uh, rates right here. You can do the same thing with the level, volume, and filter right here. You want to have all the channels activated so it sounds as close as possible, you know, to the actual gaming console itself. And then everything out here, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, either increase, increase these or decrease these to whatever you want. The video. Now on here, what you're going to want to do is... You're going to want to hit high res. You're going to want to hit on here if you want to get the full screen. And I believe it's this option right there. Now, if you go in here, you can go ahead and actually, if you do ratio off, it's basically, you know, setting it to a uh, to widescreen. And it'll go ahead and stretch the image for you. Now, to make it look the best, you're going to want to make sure linear and high res is on. This, I believe, will show you the frame rates in the upper left-hand corner, which might be a good idea for when you first launch it to make sure that your setup is running at the frame rate that you want it to hit. And then there's the various settings here you can also set. You got your scan lines here. You can go ahead and put those, you know, to whatever setting you want. And then you also have gamma, contrast color and brightness down here you can go ahead and leave those as default or tweak them you know to your heart's content and leave uh leave those settings the way you want it the pc engine this here i left everything to what it was it seemed to work fine for me so i didn't mess with any of those settings so once you have that set up you can go ahead and uh, hit escape to uh get the game going you want to go ahead and press the start and make sure it's working for you and as you can see on the bottom it does say demo version So as you can see, it's running fine. It looks like it might need a little tweaking on the video options because it's not V-syncing correctly. Come back in there. I believe you want both of these on up here, V-sync. And then we'll see if that. Now it may, you know, be different for your system. So you might want to play with that setting there until it syncs correctly. Okay, so that looks like it's running perfect right there. So once again, if you don't, if you see it kind of not be syncing for you correctly and the screen tearing a little bit, you're going to want to go to the video options and then play with these two settings right here until it goes smooth for you. So once that's done, now I'm going to show you the real cool thing about this. This will actually play the original disc. Because if you have one, if you want to play an original disc, you can go ahead and click on boot CD here. And I already have one in my disk drive, Wise 1 and 2. So you can go ahead and click on that and it's going to launch it for you just like you have, you know, the console, but you're running it through the emulator. So let's go ahead and get this started. There you go. So as you can see, this will run the CDs uh, fine if you have original CDs. Or if you have a copy of it, I'm assuming it'll also work.
but as you can see that works really well so that is a super easy setup for you guys on this one if you guys ever wanted to try uh, uh you know turbo graphics and you have not had a chance to run it uh you can actually run it this way like i said it's not a free one if you enjoy it and you can you know play your games on it if you have originals or if you want to you know download content and be able to play it uh you can buy the uh version the full version i believe it's 9.99 let me jump in here just to check for you guys So the one I showed you was the Magic Engine. It's actually, oh, wow, it's $20 now. Inflation's a B. <laughs> so if you do want the full version, it will cost you uh, $20 if you're in the U.S. But like I said, you know, it's a demo version. You can keep, uh, you know, a trick to do it is you can, like, save the game right before the five-minute time limit and then just go ahead and load the game again. And you can do it that way. That's kind of annoying. So I would recommend if you like it, you know, it'll be worth the, the $20 if you want to keep using it. Uh, the, what you want to do, if you want to save a game, the first uh, F1 key through F4 will be the save slots. And then F5 through F9 will be the loading slots. So in other words, if you have a F1, slot 1, you know, F2 is 2, F3, 3, F4, 4. And then on 5 through F5 through F8, That'll be like to load, uh, you know, the first one. So F5 would be 1, F6 is 2, F7 is 3, and F8 is 4. And that's how you would load and save the games. So hopefully you guys can make use of this video. If you want to go ahead and give that a shot, go ahead. We'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.